Hello everyone, this is Rushi from Testing Biz. Today I am going to show you that how you can create and execute the desktop application test scripts with the help of Testing Biz. So basically, Testing Biz supports uh, desktop application scripts and we can create the scripts with the help of Visual Recorder. It basically generates a visual objects. So it will basically uh, objects which is being seen on the screen and uh, whatever actions we select for that object it will do the operations that on the same object and later on we can add some logical um, commands within the script and then we can execute those script and get the reports of the execution so I'm starting uh, a visual recorder so first of all I'm going to show you that how we can build the script for a visual objects and then I'll execute so as on the top of uh, in the toolbar you can see the visual recorder it is uh, the icon different from the normal web recorder so this is the recorder button for a visual objects so when you click on the recorder it will pop up a notification where you can see all the instruction for recording so it basically uh, kind of wrapper over a screen from where you can select the area of the object and then you can select the operation to perform and then you can go to um, whatever name you want to give to an object and uh, then object will get saved so so basic instructions are like click on the button to start full screen recorder and in case if something is not visible at the moment of recording you can uh, print screen that uh, screen and then paste it on the recorder and you can see uh, the object visible there from where you can extract the screen and create the object so these are the BG basic uh, instruction so I'm going to start a recording now so I'm clicking on the start recorder so this is the recording screen so here I am just selecting um, I'm testing a same application I'm creating object for the testing with itself so here I'm doing an operation on the the bug tracking tool icon on the toolbar so uh, I want to click on this button so I'm just selecting the area for that object so this is the area I have selected and now it will ask for the operation I want to perform so these are the operations you can perform click input double click right click middle click so all this can be performed so here I am just clicking and uh, giving some name so bug drag icon so this is the object name I'm giving so when I click on OK it will create the object of bug tracking 2 and uh, so as you can see uh, it has clicked so it will uh, parallelly do the operations which we have selected so now I'm going to just simply um, click on the close button so you need to select a uh, area for the close button so here I am selecting a more area so that it will click on the same object when the playback so this is the area and you can see the middle button uh, so that indicator will show that it will click on the 
the center area of the object we have selected so I am selecting this area and again choosing the same click operation there so say cancel button and click on the OK so this is the two operation I have selected and two object basically and now to switch back to the main tool screen I simply use a alter tab button there so when I expand the project and go to the test case you can see the recorded objects there and the script basically and now I am just simply stopping the recorder so these are the simple objects we have selected and when I go to the object repository you can see both the uh, objects there so this is the bug track icon you can see the um, captured area there and the cancel button so this is the cancel button so this is how you can see the objects recorded and uh, now you can execute the script so I'm simply executing the script and when I click on the execute it will go to the area which we have selected for the, the bug tracking tool icon and then it has closed the, the pop-up up here so this is how you can create and execute the basic visual script and in case if you want to go some advanced level as say for example you want to right click on a particular um, icon or say for example some area you simply need to um, print screen the whole screen so it will capture the whole screen and uh, when I go to the recorder start recorder and control V it will show me the same screen so there you can again there I can again capture the area of the right click objects so this is how you can capture these as well so I'm again taking the same operation click operation so right click option okay and then when you go to the object repository you can see the recorded object in the right click so this is how you can build your script for the visual I am again stopping the script now the report as you can see it will be same as for the all other applications you can see a detail level logs when you go to the detail level logs you can see on the detail level logs where the exit execution time and all you can see so for demo purpose I have also created one sample script so I'm just opening that so it basically for a calculator application where I am opening up a calculator then I am uh, extracting the text from the application and then I am validating with the expected text so these are the objects in that so I'm simply executing the script for demo so uh, for visual uh, you can still select any of the browser so it will simply ex start executing so as you can see it has clicked on the start button where it has clicked on the search and then feed some values calculator so then from the list it has clicked on the calculator so calculator open there 
and uh, it has validated the view edit and the help icon sorry the text uh, in the toolbar and uh, you can say see the detail level now so there was some logic applied in the script where it is validating if the text is not same as the expected it will write the message fail so in this case it was same as the expected so it has simply passed the test and in the last it has just printed the execution status that is passed so, so this is how you can deal with the visual objects and you can test the web application sorry the desktop application and in case uh, you can also utilize this same um, visual feature when uh, you are doing some web application test and you encounter with some uh, desktop application controls say so for example file upload scenario where the desktop application pop-up appears and you want to um, give a file path <clears throat> and then go to the uh, you want to simply upload that file on the web page so that you can do with the help of visual feature with the testing list so I have a small demo for that as well so I am opening up the script so this is a simple script uh, where I am opening up a page and where a file upload button is there so it will simply pop up the file upload dialog box and where it will ask for the file which you want to upload so there I have used some visual objects so this is the object for that a file name and then I am again clicking on the open button and again the control will be on the web page so I'm simply executing it so it's just basically a combination of web and uh, desktop application so here it has opened the pop-up and file name is selected and, is, and, and as you can see the logo file is uploaded there and uh, in the detail level report you can see the steps it has executed and all are passed so this is how you can um, utilize the visual feature with the testing viz where you want to deal with the combination of web and desktop application or simply a desktop application test and uh, you can complete the combined script so this is all about the basic visual feature of the testing quiz. Thank you for watching. Thank you.